Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Space Corp. Before we move into the Star Theras era, there are some corrections to make. First of all, I knocked over those um, profit markers in my last video and I really double checked the footage. The competition should be here, two points less than I am. Right now it seems I'm three points in the lead, but there was another kind of major goof from my side and that was to move this team here from Pluto to the Oort Cloud and I didn't have a base here. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but luckily at least two of my viewers have pointed this out to me. Hey, this is not what you should be doing and you're absolutely right. So thanks again. The good thing is um, I had more or I had kind of enough points to move to the Oort Cloud directly from, I don't know which base it was, but I had m one point I was missing, one movement point. And that's the reason why I moved it to Pluto and then to the Oort Cloud. Again, I was not allowed to do that. The good thing is, as of the Planetius era, you can spend profit for missing movement or exploration or build points or whatnot. So in this case, I would simply assume I would have played all those cards and on top of this, I spent one profit to come to, I think, 26 points. I had 25 points on my hand in my headquarters, but I needed 26, so I could spend one profit. Of course, then I would have been allowed to play a card, but I think this is really something I will not take back now. This is really on me now. I missed this, so I have to be punished here. And I think that's more is it. Again, thanks so much. Appreciate all the helpful comments. And then I think let's set up the board for the Starfarers era. Okay, and here we are. We start the Starfarers era with three of our teams instead of only two. And because we held the first Beyond Marker, we were allowed to place one of our teams directly here on Alpha Centauri, pretty much a nearby star system to Seoul. Unfortunately, even though we claimed the first Beyond Mark of the competition got something out of this. If that would have been a tie, I believe they would be allowed to place two cubes and if they held the marker, then they basically did the same. They get two teams um, on, on star systems already and they would take three consecutive turns in a row. Really, really devastating here. The deck is much smaller for them. So here it could be that their deck may run out sooner than I, my deck, but not so sure about that. Really depends on, um, let's say, things they are not allowed to do and whatnot. And apart from that, I think we are more or less good to go. We have new adaption and breakthrough cards. Again, two of those are not available during the um, solo mode of the game. Those two are really extremely powerful because here I can directly jump a team to a different star and here see it for yourself. My movement value is multiplied by four and when you look at some of those movement values here this is insane. I already prepared the colonies. Of course, we are only using the colonies that are suitable for a solo player experience. Again, I come to those when we get there, but it's really relatively tough to build those colonies. On the other hand, you really need those colonies because they really can grant you some additional um, profit at the end of the game. And on top of this, some of those come with a nice little bonus here, like this one here, gain one profit for every adduction and break for your own. So if I build this colony, I immediately would score three points because I have three adaption and or breakthrough cards. But then let's get going. Let's draw the first competition card. Again, we are using now the cards from the Mariners era. And here we have Epsilon Eridani. And with the Starfarers era, the whole scale explodes. Um, we are not dealing with planets anymore. We are only dealing with complete systems or um, star systems in this case. So whenever we do something there, we take care of all of the planets, all of the exploration boxes. We build bases on all of those really totally different scale. So in this case, again, we look at Epsilon Eridani and the AI also change it somewhat. It's a bit more complicated, but in the end, you really simply follow from top to bottom this nice little list here. If you have a base there, they don't have a base there. Right now that's empty. If the competition has a colony there, no, they don't have a competition. If no competition team is present, place one there. And then we pretty much end. In this case, it simply means we place a team here on Epsilon Eridani. They will not use the Star Trek here. They will ride or move right to the star. We have to usually go through a lengthy process have to really make it to the system. But again, the scale really changes in this era. But they're there, that's the end of their turn and that's pretty much it. 
So it's over to us and I think let's do our first exploration because we were able to get the first beyond mark I think we should really use it. We were able to place one of our teams here on Alpha Centauri. So I think yeah let's let's totally explore here. We need an exploration of four. Luckily we have the survey drones and the probe network. They multiply that's an exploration value of four so more than enough to make our first discovery. And keep in mind, a lot of things can go wrong with these discovery here. So space is really dangerous place. <laughs> and yeah, let's see what we get. We take one of those primary one. I shuffle them pretty well. And here we found abundant life. Okay, that's really good. First of all, they give us a colonization, colonization value of one, which we need later on to build the colonies. We can move our genetics marker. This is really, really cool. And yeah, we get the point here right away. So let's do that. Let's start with a point and we can also move our genetics marker one step ahead. We really need revelation because we want the entangled transmitter and the jump drive. Keep that in mind, it really need it. But for now, I'm not complaining here. Really something terrible could have happened there. As we have four or fewer cards in our hand, we get to draw a card. Here we found the fusion lifter with some build points. Yeah, we need build points later on. That's clear because when you look at those sites here, we need eight in order to build bases here. The good thing about this, if there are more exploration tiles here in a system, then I really build on all of those sites bases with only one build action. So there's also a good thing. Both it. But that's already the end of our turn. Over to the competition and that's bad. They will place a cube on contract number six, which means if they do that again, they will claim this contract here and then they will score four points. It's not the most powerful contract in the world, so that's kind of good news, but still it's four points for them. And then it's over to us and I need movement like crazy. So I will go for a research action and then my first card will be the first generation anti-matter drive which triples my movement. So I really need this. Still get to get another card and I think as I also need build points let's go for yeah, let's go for this one here. And then I should have more than enough cards or build points in order to build a base on Alpha Centauri. Let's reveal new cards. Ah this would be better. <laughs> and interstellar engineers oh man here's the card really should have gone for the top of the deck over to the competition they will go for all offers with research there are no cards with research so we can get rid of those all at once they don't score any points but this is really quick hey guys slow down a little bit i really need some time so first again we are looking for edge cards okay this was this was the last start card already now we are, no they're not. Something went wrong again. I really don't know what happened. This should have been here. I'm really not sure, but I think overall we should be okay. All the other cards seem to be starting cards. Here we have a produce card and there was no edge card. I think this was really the most important piece now and they didn't score any points. I think I have to start moving and it's either here or there. I think I think I prefer this one here first because there are a lot of exploration sites that they could grant me some bonuses when I want to build a base there. Again, I need 60 movement points to get there. I have 13 in my headquarters, so I think let's hmm, spend, no, let's go for this one. Let's spend those. So that's 10 more, that's 23. Of course, I will also spend Bend this one here so I will multiply this. This should be 69 movement points. Again, we will do the multiplication after we do the additions in this game. So that's 69 points in total if I'm not mistaken. And this allows me to take a team here to this track here to the Star Trek here. Again, I will not be able to move here. I really have to start here. And this beginning of each of my turns, I will be allowed to move this cube or this team one step closer to the star. So I need three more movement or three more turns in order to make it there. And this is, I think, makes more sense to move into a system with more exploration sites. Again, terrible things can happen there, but I will risk it anyway. This is the end of my action. At least I get to draw a card. And here I found some more exploration or build points. Hmm. That's not the greatest card in the world right now for us. 
Next card for the competition, they will send a team to Groombridge 34, which is down here. Okay, then it's back to us. Our team will move. And I think then it's really time to build a base here on Alpha Centaur. We have three build points and we have to spend three. That's six. And yeah, we have to spend this one here. So that's 10 points in total. Definitely enough to build a base there. And now I could, um, I think I would go for an industrial base here because again, um, in the Starfarers era, this base gives me one additional colonization point here. And whoever builds the first colony gets to claim this contract here worth three profit. Let's draw our card. Uh, and again, I need movement, guys. Movement, extruders, build three or build two may upgrade as infra. Hmm. No, not really thrilled about this card. And wow, the competition is really in a hurry, it seems. So they will do pretty much remove all offers. And this time we have a produce card, which means they will score a point. So let's quickly do that. So that's the card and we will remove all the others and yeah let's replenish let's start here anti anti meta lifter okay here we have an edge card that's the intercept one and i believe that's the card we already had more than once the competition takes another turn after this one so yes we have to remember that but let's keep replenishing that's okay nano miners and advanced anti-meta drive. Okay, they scored a point. Um, we must not forget this card gets removed. So they take a full turn now. And here it seems they will send a team to Wolf1061, which is down here next to our um, base here. Of course, it's not yet a colony, but it could be one relatively soon now. To us, let's advance our team one more step and we reached Epsilon Indi. And I think again, I want to go for a research action now because I definitely want the advanced anti-meta drive here, move times four. And ah, we have two of those um, actually down there. Just noticed that, but I'm not sure if I need two of those and I need really genetics or revelation cards. No, let's take a card from the top of the deck. We have passed the starting card, so I could be able to find something useful, but okay, no matter what, it's a move times four and exploration four. So I think, yeah, that's definitely not bad. Let's replenish anti-meta lifter, another move times three, definitely not a bad card. And yeah, I still get to draw a card. Yes, of course, I am down to four. So let's draw a card. And I think I really replenish before I actually draw a card, but I may be wrong here. And okay, fusion lifter, Oof, okay, that's not great. Okay, here we have drawn the first time card, but of course the time card simply has an AI. And when you're using the multiplayer mode of the game, you can really do something cool with that. But in this case, they will simply send a team to Lakai 8760, which happens to be over here. I'm running out of yellow glue cubes and I really hope you can see those purple ones. Then we have reached Epsilon Indi and in order to explore there we need to come up with 10 exploration but again we will then be able to do all of those um, exploration. We can reveal all of those with a single action here similar to the build action. So do I have 10 exploration points? Actually I do but I really don't want to spend this move times four card. On the other hand, I have a second one. Hmm, I have a second one now. Yeah, I think we draw this one as our blind draw. So I, maybe I should do that. So that's six times, so that's 10 points in total. Yeah, I have another times four card, why not? So let's get rid of those anti-meta surveyors. This also allows me to draw a card. Then I think overall that's not a bad deal. And yeah, let's totally explore here. We start with the primary, primary. And here we found planetary system exotic life base plus four colonization void has a production value. Our genetics marker will move and we will basically score a point. Wow, that's a hell of a system here. Wow. So let's do that. So one point, I will do that off camera. So we are now at 34 and we get to 
progress our genetics markers. Well, we are not done yet, as we still have to reveal some secondary ones. Let's start with this one here, an alien outpost. Um, genetics one, revelation one, base plus four, and one extra victory point. Wow, that's so cool. So that's one more point. One and one, so we can adapt again. How cool is that? And even though the star children are awesome, but I need two breakthrough cards. I only have one. The hybrids is okay. I think let's totally go for the Enviro Tolerance because that's worth one colony point. So that's so cool. And it also scores me an additional profit. Hooray! But again, we are still not done yet. We have to reveal our next one here. Oh, critical mission delay. Lose to uh, discard this tile and draw another one. Oof, that's bad. Okay, so I have to lose two points here and have to reveal yet another secondary tile. And that's good. Uh, those are us accepting life. Again, we get our points back and our genetics marker moves once again. So cool. So we are here and we are back at 36 points. Pretty amazing discovery. Let's draw our card. Analytic Excavators, produced to a Revelation one. That's really an awesome card. Back to the competition. They will send a team to Groombridge 1618. So sooner or later they will build a base or will start building bases and then form a colony or found a company, a colony. So I think really something I have to keep in mind now. And yeah, I think it's really time to create our first colony. We have one colonization point here. We have one colonization point because of the industrial base here. On top of this, we adapted and we are pretty tolerant uh, basically to our environment, which gives us yet another colony point. So we have three colony points and this is all we need to build a cheap colony here, which is in this case Jensen. So we need three colony points. I will zoom down on it a little bit. So again, here we see the name, there is a number and this is the basically the player count here. And these are the colony points we need to come up with in order to found this colony, which we just did. It doesn't bring any special benefit, benefit, but if we are looking at the chart here, we basically went from minus one profit to plus one profit. So that's two points net, not a bad start. And of course, what's also important, we just founded the first colony, which means we score an additional one, two, three profit. Awesome. Back to the competition. They will send a team to 61 Signi, which seems to be a double star down here. And then I have to think about how to build a base here on Epsilon Indi. Um, we need 20 base points, plus four, plus four, the 28 build points. But then we will basically build bases on all of those three sites here. Though that's definitely not a bad thing. Huh. 28 points that's definitely something and right now i have three here so i think it should be time oh, we need really some powerful cards now as i really don't know what to do i think let's keep it simple let's play the analytic excavators here and go for the revelation yeah absolutely let's do that let's spend this card let's advance our revelation marker then we are down to four cards which means we get to draw a card, so we get the nano miners. That's a build five or produce two. I think that's not a bad card for us now. Okay, back to the competition. Here we have again Epsilon Indi. That's basically where we currently are. We don't have bases there, we only have a team there. So we have this racing situation going on right here. Now there is no competition team there, but they are there. If they build a base, I still get um, some points, but again, it's only two, not for each of those sites. I would get two measly points if they basically build a base before we do. Okay, yeah, wow. Let's see if we somehow can come up with 28 points. <laughs> I highly doubt it, to be honest, and no. We don't have a chance to get to 28 points. We have 22 and that's about it. Really, really disappointing. But as I really want this base or a colony there on this system sooner or later, I will totally, totally, totally go for those two cards. So let's do a research action. I'm, I think, up to seven, so I'm okay. So let's 
draw those two cards. That's 10 more points. I think now I should have enough in order to build there. Next thing, let's reveal a new card. Build five or genetics one. Oof, also very tempting. And an edge card, the incompatible, which would allow me to play this at the end of any turn. Competition loses one profit for each upgrade card in the offers. That's not bad. Right now there aren't any, but yeah, this could definitely help us sooner or later. Next time card, next team to send. No, they have a team there. That's Groombridge34. They have a team there. And I had to go to the very bottom of this um, AI track here, which says if the competition has a team present, yes. And one or more exploration boxes are empty, yes. And the site explore cost is four, it is. It places discovery tiles, then it places spaces, then it places a colony. Wow, are you kidding me? I'm really, really happy that I went for Alpha Centauri now. So let's start by placing a tile. Precious dust. Okay, they don't gain anything from that. That's fine. Let's build a base. That's a secure base. Not sure about a secure base. What do this bring them? Or is it allowed to build? I think it is. Yes, if you have fewer secure bases, I do, in play, then the competition, you lose one profit. So let's do that right away. Right now, that's something we can live with. Next, they will go and build a colony there. And they take the colony, which is pretty much shown here. So they try to build colony number two, which is currently available, which is this one here. It has a colony value of four, which means the competition will score one, two, three, four points for that. Then we place the colony, we will remove the team, and that's pretty much the end of their action. It was definitely, definitely bad one. Okay, but it had to, to happen sometime. Okay, before they do the same thing over here, I think let's build. This will really cost us a lot of precious cards, but I really have to do that. I really have to. Again, I need 28 points. So here are 10, here are 20, 23, 26, plus the adaption, that's 29 points, which is just enough to build bases here. We will start with a biolab base here. This gives us pretty much one movement of our genetics. So we are one step shy of making another adaption. Definitely a good start. Here we will build a research base because in the Starfarer's era, I'm also allowed to move my revelation marker one step ahead. So we are allowed to make a breakthrough. And I think I will totally go for this Entangled Transmitter now. Immediately transfer one of your teams at Seoul to any empty star system, placing it directly on the star. Pretty nice, let's do that. So we will grab our guys here and move it here to Galaxy One because from there we have a chance to make it to the Orion Spur. And the first player to get there gets five points, but I believe I need a colony here on Galaxy One before I move there. And of course, we must not forget to award ourselves with two points because of the breakthrough we just got. And I think up there I could go for produce. Oh, maybe I should go for the produce, uh, but I need this card actually. No, let's go for the research because this allows me to grab a card. And I think let's go for the genetics one here because then I could move to the next region, which would give me an additional Adaption card, which is always nice. And here we found competition. Good thing that the competition didn't draw it, actually. Okay, I think I will call it for today. I think this was a very interesting first episode in the Starfarer's era. I stop here because I really want to make sure I messed things up too badly. Again, please keep them coming. Make me aware and I will try to correct everything as much as I can. And yeah, I really hope you are still enjoying my little playthrough of Space Corp. I think the next video could be my last video in this series. Kind of sad about this, but yeah, it has to end sometime. And yeah, hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. Again, maybe the next episode of Space Corp. And yeah, until then, bye bye.